Hey, great to have you with us. Good to spend just a couple of moments with you. This is an audacious devotional, looking at one of my key favorite scriptures, and I want to share it with you. Speaking right into this new season, this term, God wants to do amazing things. And the word I have today is Joshua 1 verse 2. It says, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people, all of Audacious Church, get ready. Cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give to them, to the Israelites. Now then, get ready. Cross the Jordan River and step into the land that I've promised you. I believe this scripture can help us move forward in courage and confidence today into this new season that God's got. It's got incredible things for us, but the question is, are we going to inherit the land he's got for us? Or are we just going to verbalize, pray about, think about the land that he's promised to us? We want to step into the land. Moses and Joshua, this is a key transition moment from one generation to the next. Joshua could have looked back at Moses and gone, wow, well, he was the man. Everybody talks about him. Everybody harks on about the incredible man of God that Moses was. And he was. He led the people out of captivity. And yet if Joshua was not careful, he would have been talking about the good old days. This was a dangerous, perilous place to be until God spoke to him and said, Joshua, Moses is dead. Yesterday has gone. Now then. And today can be a now then day for you. And I want to encourage you, however good or bad yesterday was, today is a now then day. Now then. Come on. Stop looking back, good or bad. Stop remembering back to the good focusing on the things that have gone wrong or the decisions maybe you even made that you regret or the things that other people said or did to you now then what are we going to do now then get ready and I want you to get ready for what God's got but we've got to have courage boldness determination to step into what he's got and Joshua made that decision He took strength and courage from God's word to not look back, but to look forward. Our incredible friend of audacious, Reggie Dabbs from America, always says, you cannot change your past, but you can change your future. And today, we can't change yesterday, but we can change tomorrow if we make great decisions today. Now then, what are you going to do today that will have incredible results tomorrow? My son's been have been riding bikes for the first time and it's incredible you know first time going out on the bike and feels like we're never going to get this and yet a couple of hours and everything's changed in a moment because of courage determination and stepping up to the plate and the same can be true today we can step away from our past we can have a now then day today And we can get ready for what God wants to do. Let's make this term incredibly fruitful individually and as a church by stepping into what God's promised for us. Yes, it's going to take courage. It's going to take resolve. It's going to take determination. But you can do it. Now then, get ready. God wants to lead you into the land that he's prepared for you. What do you need to do today that your future self will thank you for the courage, steps of courage you took? Let's pray and let's believe by faith. This is going to be an incredible new season of stepping into what God has for us. God, thank you for every person watching today. We pray, God, you would be with them, that you go with them, that you would lead them, that they would be strong, they would be bold, they'd be courageous, they'd be fearless, and give them incredible insight into the steps they should take today to have that now then. We're not looking back, we're looking forward. We're getting ready for what you have for us, ahead of us, in our future. We can't change our past. But today, by faith, we can change our future. Give everyone that courage today in Jesus' name. Bless them. And everybody said...
Amen. Amen. We love you so much, church. Thanks for watching. I pray it's just ignited a little bit of faith to go again today. We're praying for you and we can't wait to see you in church on Sunday. See you soon.